Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool, and in this video we're having a look at the free extension Half Knife. So Half Knife is a free extension, just go to Edit, Preferences, come to Get Extensions, type in probably Half, and then you'll have an Install button here. I've already installed it, so I don't have that button. If you click here, you can find all the extension information from Blender's Extension Warehouse, and there's a few videos showing what it can do. Also, if you go to Add-ons and type in Half, you get your half knife information where you've got your snapping distances which you can modify which is really nice and your key maps and again you can change these as well and finally colors we'll fiddle around with these key maps in a little bit and show some extra things that we can do save your preferences and you're good to go so why is this add-on so cool well let's just go into edge mode and control and b that somewhere here now, if I wanted to add all of these points, so just take all of these points and add it to there, I could always just select this face and press something like Control and T, but the triangulation is, well, messy and it's not being controlled. I could use the normal knife or the join tool and join that and then join that and it's all going to get very, very annoying. What Half Knife allows us to do, and I'd suggest it's worth activating it just for this, is I can click there, Control click there, press K and you can see and probably guess from the iconography here that now everything is going to join to this point, which is awesome. Now you'll notice it didn't join perfectly there. What I can do instead is press those and press Shift and K and that will do that without the iconography or you could just K and make sure that you, when you get to it, it has this little yellow icon but I have found this a little bit janky. Sometimes this works really well and sometimes it doesn't. There we go, it's now working. So this isn't perfect and you can see it will then snap to edges. But as I just showed, it doesn't always work perfectly. So that's your options there. Now you can do this with other add-ons. You can do this with Nsolve and you can do it with machine tools, but they are something you need to pay for. They're both worth the cost, but this is really nice if you just want to be able to do that. Now, the other things that this does is twofold. It changes the way your K works for the knife tool and it adds a shift K option as well. So what this is going to do is if you remember, in fact, actually, let's go to edit preferences. And what we'll do is we'll just turn this off for a second. Is that normally if I press K, you get your knife icon, you go to somewhere, you click and then drag, click, and then it carries on. And then you've got to click space to confirm it. So there's quite a bit of clicking involved. Now, if we activate half knife, that's going to change this slightly. Instead, if we're off of this and we hit K, it's automatically starting the knife tool. We don't have to K and then mouse click. So it's important you get your mouse in the right position before you do it, and then you just K through, and then when you get to the point where you want to be, you click, and it automatically ends everything that you've just done. So you don't have to K and then space. So it just cuts down slightly on the clicking that you're going to have to do. And then you have the option to shift and K, that just automatically starts it, so Shift and K there, and then anywhere I go to, let's say here, Shift and K, it will do it without the preview. Now, that depends on if you want the preview or not, but then I can just come sort of wherever and just keep clicking, and you'll notice if I click in the middle of nowhere, it will make edges if I want that, but it will snap generally to edges as long as you're close to it, and it will snap to vertices if you're close to that vertex as well. So this makes this really pretty quick to use. It will also do other things. For example, you can get it to snap to half increments. So for example, if I come over here and hit K to begin this and just go and say, I want to go through here and hold down control before I click, you can see it has done that halfway through every single edge that I've gone to, which is really nice and quick. Now, just so you know this, you can do that with the normal knife tool as well, but it's gonna take more clicks to set up than this. So that becomes really, really fast. The other thing you can do, just like to begin with, if you click on a single vertex and hit K, it automatically is working and we can snap. Or if you've got that selected, you can just go over another vertex, hit Shift and K, and it automatically just creates that knife tool going through. I really like this. I think this has got a massive amount of potential. Now, the big issue with this, and it is a shared issue with the knife tool, is I hate the K is the other side of my keyboard. So if we just come back to our preferences, we can always set up a key map to change this to, let's say, an extra mouse button. So now we've got this working. Now, within this, what's really nice is you have lots of options. You can see these here as well telling you what you've got. So you can always change these around if you want to. So, for example, Shift K 
doesn't have the preview, whereas K does have the preview. So we can set that up as we want. And for example, we could set up that mouse button four is just the half knife click, exactly the same as this one. So now let's just get rid of that. So for example, with that, now I could just click there and we've got to use the extra button on my mouse, or I could come here and do exactly the same thing. Let's just come here and try and make sure that's gonna snap to there. Cool, there we go. Now, as I said, if you're finding that this is difficult to get, for example, here, if I just click there, it's not really snapping, you can always, once again, come into your preferences in general and up the amount of pixels. Let's just up that, so let's say 40. And now if I come here, it's much easier to click on that from a bit more of a distance. So somewhere about there will still work. So for me, 40 pixels seems to work quite nicely. Now with that being done, I could always add in a new one as well. So let's just add in another half knife. Let's just change that to my mouse button four as well and press shift and have that as snap to center. So now we've got mouse button four just working and then if I hold down shift, it will snap to center. And then if we come back, let's say to here, I can go to this edge, nowhere near the middle, but shift and click and it snaps to there and then click to there or let's get a bit close to that vertex and click to there. So. You can see how useful this is. Let's click to there and click on that one. Like just to be able to do really nice and quickly, let's shift and click to there, it's in the middle. I come here and so on. You can see how quick this makes everything to use the knife tool. Now, admittedly, I don't use the knife tool an insane amount. I'm not hugely interested in topology and quads because I 3D print my designs and they don't need it. But if you're someone who's using the knife tool a lot, I can really see this speeding up your workflow, especially, as I said, if you've got a mouse with just an extra button that you haven't got assigned to something. And I do want to add that this doesn't actually stop you doing anything that you previously could do with the knife tool, I think. For example, if we come into side view here, and I, I don't know, let's just do there in K, you can still see some options at the top. For example, I can still press C to constrain to angles. So there we've got a 45 degree turn. Though that's not something I've played around with hugely to double check how perfectly it works at this point. I mean, I literally just found this the other day by accident. Anyway, hopefully that's been an interesting video giving you a new tool to try out. As I said, it's free, so give it a go. And if you did find this useful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day, guys.